Hello, family and friends. This is Rob, the Sapper Gardener, representing Ession's Family Garden. And today we've got an episode of Chow Time, and it is inspired by another channel, another great creator, Simple Paradise Life. And I'll put it here, and then I will put it down in the description. Uh, just to make sure you get the spelling right when you go to look for it because every time I go I always look for paradise instead of peri dice but uh, she put out a video about a week by the time this comes out maybe two weeks ago where she did a fish sauce recipe over rice and on her channel uh, they do a lot of uh, weekly meal videos where she shows what she's cooked for her family uh, each day of the week and uh, on the particular video that I'll link below on their Wednesday video was a recipe that as soon as I saw it I said Mrs. SG is gonna love this so fingers crossed that she does love this fish recipe uh, I'm gonna turn you guys around, show you the ingredients, and then we'll get to cooking a really quick uh, recipe video. So we got uh, quite a few ingredients out here, uh, and more than she had in hers, uh, every time we do a recipe, we always have to kick it up just a little bit or add a Filipino twist to it, and it's no different today. The star ingredient is our fish, which are tilapia loins, which is what she used. Uh, she used a little bit of lime juice at the end. We're going to use a calamandan or calamansi juice, which is a Filipino favorite. We're going to add a little bit of fish sauce, not too much because it can be overpowering. We're going to salt and pepper it to taste. We're going to add in some chives some minced carrots, some minced white onions. At the very end, we're gonna throw in some rough chopped baby spinach from our garden, from our garden, from our garden. We're going to add in some uh, tomato paste. We're going to add in some green onions from our garden, some sweet pepper, and some garlic from our garden. And uh, two ingredients that we don't cook with a lot, but we do like when we add in some uh, Cezanne Goya powder. It's a, a Ashwete uh, Culantro powder mix and chicken bouillon. And we're also going to add, not shown, uh, about two cups of water to make the, this fish uh, stew slash sauce. And we're going to use a little bit of coconut oil as we uh, saute some of our ingredients. So let me take you guys over to the stove. Okay, I would not be the sapper if I did not forget one ingredient. We're also going to add in one teaspoon apple cider vinegar. So let's get over to the stove. Okay, we got a medium low heat. And I'm going to go in a slightly different order than she did because I'm using a, a lot of fresh vegetables that will need to cook a little bit. I'm going to add in our onions. And this is not a blazing high heat. This is a pretty low heat. So I'm going to add in my onions, my garlic, my sweet pepper, and my carrots. And I'm going to cook those for just about a minute. So we added in just a little bit of water with the tomato paste to help thin it out and help it move around. And we're going to add in a few drops of fish sauce. If you've never worked with fish sauce, it's really salty, very potent, so use it very lightly. I'm going to sprinkle in our Sazon Goya seasoning packet. Stir this for a minute. I'm going to add in a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar. We're going to salt and pepper to taste. 
And then we're going to add in our water, which we uh, mix up with our chicken bouillon cube. And we're going to start off with about two cups. Let that cook together for a little bit. And then we're going to add in, or actually then we're going to taste this sauce and then we're going to add in our uh, tilapia tenderloins. We use five cut in half, so we're going to have 10 pieces. And if we need more liquid, we still have more of our homemade uh, chicken bouillon water to add in more. And we're going to add our fish in. And it should just about get covered by the liquid. And we're going to cook this for about 10 to 15 minutes. And then we're going to add in our rough chopped spinach. Turn off the heat. Add some calamansi juice. And take you guys to the table. Uncover it, give it a quick stir, make sure nothing's sticking and it's not. And it's still a little loose, so I'm going to let it thicken up just a little bit more. But while it's thickening up, I'm going to add in our rough chopped spinach, which we know will reduce down a lot. So you almost won't even know there's spinach in here, but we all love spinach, so it won't be a problem for us. I'm going to let this reduce down for probably another one, two minutes. And then we're going to add in our calamansi, transfer it to a serving dish, and take you guys to the table. So our sauce is reduced down by about half. I'm going to sprinkle it, turn off the heat. And I'm going to sprinkle in about a cap full of calamansi juice. Give it a little bit of acid. Let that simmer. And transfer it to a serving dish. table and we're gonna sit down to eat and uh, I don't know what to call it uh, simple paradise life uh, called it I believe a Dominican dish so I guess it's a fusion uh, Filipino Dominion fusion because uh, we added in a couple of uh, ingredients that we use a lot in uh, Filipino cooking uh, Sorry. Say again? You said Dominion. did I say Dominion or Dominican Dominion. <laughs> I meant Dominican. If I said Dominion, I meant Dominican. So, <laughs> so yeah. So along with our uh, tilapia uh, sauce over rice, we also have a, a simple cucumber and uh, pickled carrots as a vegetable side dish. And Robbie's got some of our leftovers from yesterday. We had a. Mm -hmm. We had takeout food. We got a pizza yesterday, so he's got some leftover pizza and chicken nuggets and some veggie chips. So uh, everybody else is tasting. Of course, I tasted it while I was cooking to adjust the seasoning. Uh, Mrs. SG, what do you think? It's very good. Um, I'm trying to think what, it, what it's similar to. <laughs> yeah, it, it is similar, and that's what I thought when I saw her cooking mm -hmm. it, that it was similar to something that uh, is made in the Philippines. But that really, it does make sense because the uh, Philippines has a heavy Spanish influence in the history, so a lot of the Filipino dishes are inspired by uh, Spanish colonization. So a lot of the dishes uh, do have some overlap. And... Uh, it is very good. The sauce is amazing. So, Ernie Hatmaker, close your eyes for a minute because you're about to get a mukbang moment. Oh, 
<laughs> wow. So I just tasted the sauce while I was cooking it to adjust the flavors. But the fish and the sauce, it's just it's amazing. So I definitely have to thank uh, Simple Paradise Life one more time for inspiring me to cook this for my lovely wife and hopefully give her a taste of something that she likes at home and I should zoom in on her plate if I can. It's gone. Where is it? It's empty. So, hang it, where is it? You can see that she likes it a lot. So, <laughs> usually a SK1 is the first one finished, but not today. So, uh, we hope you guys enjoy this uh, slice of our life. We hope that you'll go out and check out our friend Simple Paradise Life. Uh, she has some amazing meals uh, that she cooks, and uh, most of them are family friendly as far as being easy to make, not super tons of ingredients. So, we're going to close this out and we may or may not have some bonus train footage. We'll see what he's doing. He's got me locked out of the, the front room where his toys are. So, <laughs> so uh, on behalf of Estance Family Garden, I'm Rob the Sapper Gardener. God bless our great country America. God bless you wherever you reside around the world. Your garden, your harvest, your kitchen, your meals. God bless Simply Paradise Life that they continue to have health and prosperity as well. So take care. Sapper out and... Sapper out. All right. Take care, everyone.